On this week's tip video, we're going to talk about shot size selection and reasons behind why we choose different size shots for different scenarios. We have shot sizes on average ranging from number twos, number fours, and BB. Those are going to be your most popular size shot that you're going to use hunting ducks and geese. When we look at what we're going to be hunting, we choose what size shot we're going to use. One of the reasons we choose different shot sizes is because of the kinetic energy that each of the pellets carry. When you have your BB size pellets, it's going to carry more kinetic energy per pellet, but you're going to have less pellets. When you go down to a number four, you're going to have less kinetic energy per pellet, but you've got more pellets. So when you're hunting in a situation like out of a layout boat or you've got smaller birds or they're moving fast, we want to use a shot size like a number four. It doesn't have the kinetic energy, but you have more shot in your pattern. It fills around the edges a lot more. So if you're off just a little bit and that duck is actually ending up in on an edge of your shot pattern, you have more of a chance of being able to hit a vital area. When we hunt geese, you have a bigger bird, you need more kinetic energy behind your shot because their skin is denser, they have their down, it takes a lot more to penetrate and to make a clean kill on that bird. So we use the BBs. In the middle, you've got your number twos. Mallards in a cornfield, we use number twos. You're sacrificing the amount of kinetic energy you have, but typically those shots are gonna be a little bit closer. So you can go to a number two shot and you kind of have the best of both worlds. You're sacrificing a little bit of the kinetic energy, but you're also gaining a lot more pellets in that shot shell. Now, once you've selected your shot size and you want to move into determining what kind of choke tube you want to use, you have to look at your situation. If you're in a situation where you're in a cornfield, you're going to have birds at 15, 20 yards. They're going to be close range to mid range shots. You want to use a, a mid range choke tube, an improved cylinder choke tube, where your shot pattern is going to open up a lot faster and a lot wider. But on the contrary, you would want a tighter choke in situations where those birds just aren't going to work the way you wanted to you're gonna to have to end up with that 40 yard shot. So you wanna leave yourself open to the option of being able to switch out to a full choke or a long range choke tube, something like that, where those ducks are just gonna skirt the edge of the decoys and there's nothing you can do about it. It's just that kind of day. We've all been there where no matter what you do with the decoys, no matter what you do with the wind and the blinds and the calling and everything else, you're gonna have those days where those 40 yard shots are just gonna be necessary and you might wanna switch out to a full choke or an extended range choke tube, something like that, that's gonna give you the advantage of being able to carry that tighter pattern out just a little bit further. These tips are just personal preference. Remember to look at your situation and take into consideration your shot size, your choke tube selection, spend some time at the range, pattern your gun, see what works best through your gun and in the different situations that you're in. So stay tuned next week as we travel to the Atlantic Ocean to hunt sea ducks and see what shot size and choke tube ends up working best for us in that situation.